Welcome back. This is session 11. And in this session, we will talk about KSurf. KSurf is a framework for deploying machine learning models on top of Kubernetes. So if we go to KSurf's uh, GitHub, we can see that uh, so it says that KSurf provides a Kubernetes custom resource definition for serving machine learning models. The resource definition is all these YAML files that we wrote, all these deployment servers and so on. So these are resource definitions. I think there is an example I can quickly show you. Probably this one getting started. So this is how it looks like. And you see this is a lot less YAML than what we had to write previously in Kubernetes when we needed to create first deployment and then service and so on. So here in KSERV, we just need to write this bit of YAML and that's it. And then we just do kubectl apply and under the hood, it creates all these deployments, all these services and so on. KSERV was called Kubeflow Serving. So KSERV was a part of Kubeflow. Kubeflow is a free and open source machine learning platform that runs on Kubernetes. This is a thing on top of Kubernetes that allows us to do a lot of different things. One of these things was serving models. So let's take a look at what is actually inside Kubeflow. So there is a bunch of things. So there could be notebooks, then pipelines, a bunch of things. So, and one of these things before was Kubeflow serving. So before it was KF serving and actually in the course plan, um, what I have right now is deploying models with KF serving. I will need to replace that to KSERV because that happened relatively recently. We will not cover the entire Kubeflow. We will cover only one component or even it's not a component of Kubeflow anymore. It's just a separate component that we'll cover which is KSERV. And let me talk a bit what we are actually going to do in this session, what we are going to cover. And I want to start with a summary of what we did previously in the previous session when we were covering Kubernetes. So what we did in the previous session is we deployed our model using TensorFlow Serving. Remember we had this clothing classification model. Let's see, we have a user. And the user has a picture of pants. So we have a model, this clothing classification model. And we serve this model using TensorFlow Serving. TensorFlow Serving runs our model. We also need a service in front of TensorFlow Serving for pre-processing everything, for downloading the image, for turning this image into NumPy array. And because we also use gRPC, we also needed to convert our NumPy array to protobuf. For that, we had a service that we called Gateway Service, which is a service in Flask. And we used it for pre-processing, pre- and post-processing. And uh, the TensorFlow serving part was for serving the actual model. And uh, the user would send a request to the gateway service and gateway service do pre-processing, send the request to TensorFlow serving. TensorFlow serving would reply with predictions and gateway would do post-processing and then send the final result to the client of um, the gateway. So this is what we did. We deployed it with Kubernetes. So we created a deployment for TensorFlow serving, uh, service for TensorFlow serving, deployment for gateway, service for gateway. So we ended up writing four YAML files deployment plus service for TensorFlow serving and uh, deployment plus service for gateway. And with KSERV, we can just have one YAML file that describes everything. So it describes the model we want to serve and all the pre-processing and post-processing we want to do. So it's a lot less configuration. So what happens in KSERV, we again have this clothing classification model. So we just, instead of putting it to the image like we did previously, we keep this model on S3. And then if we want to serve TensorFlow model, it uses TensorFlow serving. So it just fetches this model from S3 and then starts serving. It. And then instead of creating a separate service like we did and called it gateway, what we have in KSERV, it's called transformer which is a separate component. It lives on a different pod and it takes care of all this pre and post processing. So in KSERV, it's called transformer and uh, the part with the model, it's called, so yeah, it's called predictor. And we put everything in one YAML and actually we don't have to, we, we can still use gRPC if we want to do this with KSERV. TensorFlow Serving also allows us to use HTTP and by default KSERV uses HTTP. So that's why here in this session, we will use HTTP. It makes things a bit simpler, but the interface we want to follow will be very similar. So user sends a URL of an image and then they get back the predictions. So this is what we want to do. We want to deploy the same model that we deployed previously with Kubernetes. This time we want to use KSERV and it will be a lot less configuration than previously. But before we do that, I also want to look at a simpler use case. And in a simpler use case, uh, we want to deploy a scikit-learn model. So let's say again, we have this uh, KSERV. 
So actually, this thing that we are going to define here, this Kubernetes custom object is called inference service. And I think in short, it's ISVC. Like service is SVC in Kubernetes, and this one is ISVC inference service. The thing we have here is also ISVC. So these are just different inference services. So one is, let's say, our clothing model. And the second one, what we want to deploy, we will deploy our churn prediction model. And what I want to develop is a system. We have a user again. The user sends a request. And this request will contain different features, monthly charges, tenure, and all these things with JSON with features. And as a reply, we will get back churn probability. So this is the same model we developed in uh, session five. Now we just want to deploy it with KSERF. Like for TensorFlow, we have TensorFlow serving. In the same way for KSERF, there is a thing called scikit-learn server, I think. Let me actually check the name quickly. Then we have this Python package. And then one of the things is this key learn server. So this is the name of the server. Actually, we see that there is LGB server, PyTorch server, PMML server. There is quite a bunch of things here. XGB server. So let's say if we want to deploy an XGB model that we created in session six, I think, was it? When we learned about trees, so then we would use this XGB server. Or not we, but KServe internally. We just say we want to serve an XGB model and that it will just figure out which kind of server it needs. Maybe it will go with scikit-learn if we want to deploy a random forest model or it will go with XGB server if we want to deploy an XGB model. So in this case, we'll have a sklearn server, and this is a part of KServe, and it will have our churn model here. I think actually the model needs to live somewhere, let's say on S3 or in some location. So let me put it in an S3 bucket. And then it loads this model from the S3 bucket and then starts serving it. And here we don't have any pre or post processing. We may have if we want, but we don't have. So then the request of the user would immediately go to this sklearn server. And then the prediction from this sklearn server, this is what the user will get. So these are the two things we want to do in this lesson. So we'll start with this. We will start with a simpler model. And once we figure out how to use KServe, then we will do a more complex model, which is this one, this uh, clothing classification model. And for that, what we will do is uh, we will see how to run KServe locally. We will use Kind again. This is a tool that lets us run Kubernetes locally on our computer. So we'll use that for KServe as well. We will first install it, and then we will get our churn model, and we will try to deploy our churn model with KServe. Um, sometimes we need to modify this server a little bit. And this is also the case for us. I want to show you how to do this if you need it. If you want to use a different version of scikit-learn, for example, a newer one, or you want to use a newer version of Python, or you want to modify the code a little bit, I want to show you how to do it, how you create a custom image and use this. And you can actually use it not just for scikit-learn, but for other servers, for other models as well. And once we learn how to do this, we'll then move on to a more complex model. We will do roughly the same as we did in the previous session, except this time, instead of deploying it to TensorFlow Serving, we'll deploy it with KServe. So first we will deploy the model itself, and then we will write this transformer in the next video. Similarly to how we did it before, we first run the model inside TensorFlow Serving, and then we wrote this pre-processing server. We will do the same here, except this time we'll use KServe. And then finally, once we do everything locally, once we learn how to do these things locally, we then will go and create a cluster on IKEAS, on Amazon, on AWS, and we will install KSERF there, then we will deploy our model there. So that's roughly the plan for this session. And in the next session, as I said, we will install KSERF on kind, and we will deploy a simple model from the Getting Started Guide. So see you soon.